Hello everyone, Relgan here for you with another CVT game. If in the past we have looked at the swarm host infester style against Protoss, I tried to show some swarm host games against Terran, but I wasn't quite satisfied with them. Um, what I want to do now in the next, at least in the next two videos, I'm I'm sure I'll find other good replays that I can show you. Is to show you guys how to use infestors and um, also some drop play as kind of a CVT style, like an infestor drop focused um, play style. You're not necessarily going to drop the infestors, but uh, links and ultralisks. It's a two base opener, so it's very safe, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. Because as we all know, two base openers are the easiest thing to play. Opener wise, this is exactly the same opener that I play against. Uh, I played a bit different than I do against Protoss, I guess, but um, it's pretty much my two-base Mutalisk opener. That much I can tell you. So my Overlord goes to scout. Sees no factory here. I didn't see the second barracks, but um, if you don't see a factory there, then it's usually not going to be Hellions. That SCV sadly lives. The Reaper went home. I'm creeping at home. I'm going up to my three queens. As I said, this is my standard opener for the CVT matchup. Just droning a lot, getting that fast lair, all the good stuff, trying to shove the Reaper away. And um, preparing for the quick infestors. Because I'm not using one, uh, like against, if I go for a Mutalisk opener, I'm using 200 gas on a Spire. I'm not really going to do that because. I'm building an infestation pit that only costs me 100 gas, so I'm building a evolution chamber instead. A rather quick one, I'm just getting the carapace upgrade so my units survive longer. I'm a big fan of carapace upgrades, not so much of the melee, but I'll get both upgrades later, but I usually start only with a carapace upgrade nowadays, if I go for this style. I've, I've only experimented with this in like 3-4 games, so it's not um, not everything is super fleshed out yet. I have no third base on the way, this is intentional, I'm building a lot of links to deal with the 16 marine drop. He's dropping over there, I got my 4 queens, I don't have a third base as I said. Keep in mind, Terran doesn't have a third command center either, we scouted, I knew it was going to be the 16 marine drop. And we're going to have a look at what happens if my opponent is in fact not going for a 16 marine drop in another replay. So he dropped, he notices no third, immediately goes on home because he probably thinks that I'm going for a mute test but I'm not quite sure what he's thinking. Um, I had my units in the main because that's the only dangerous part where he could have dropped me. Once I feel safe, I take my third base. I got my, my second evolution chamber on the way. I'm getting Overlord Speed, I'm getting Burrow, I'm getting Pathogen Glands, I'm getting Infestors, all the good stuff that I'm going to need. This will be a very, very um, weird game. Uh, he's also building a lot of turrets, like what is this? Four turrets? Invested four tur into four turrets and I don't even have a Spire. Or um, any units that I could drop. Uh, I knew he had a marine there because I spotted it with, spotted it with a changeling. I see the medivex flying out with the overlord, so I immediately run away from over there. I'm moving my units into my main base because that's kind of where I think he's going to drop me. Sadly, my infestors are not quite there. I'm burrowing units here so I can kind of um, get a glimpse at his army where it's moving. Uh, right here I lost about 8 to 9 links, 7 to 9 links to that Widow Mine, so that's okay. Not too much has been lost. I got my Hive done as well. Keep in mind, after the second evolution chamber I immediately started the Carapace as well. I got my Hive done. I have a pretty decent army and like, he is now trying to take his third base, but I got links burrowed everywhere. I could burrow Bane links as well, but I didn't get the tech. And this is going to be a little bit weird. It's going to happen soon. Like I don't like at the eight minute mark I don't have my third base saturated and I don't have a fourth base. I'm only going to take it now. So I realize that he is going to expand over here because I'm spotting that now. So instead of taking this base, I immediately uh, take that base over there. So I'm not expanding too close to him. Made a lot of drop overlords. Keep in mind I did get that overlord speed um, a long time ago. So I'm setting up some drop overlords. I don't really have the watchtower sadly. Mistakes were made. Now scans and keep in mind 
my infestors are burrowed and I'm also have, also have links burrowed and if you want to kill those you always have to scan. Scanning is quite expensive. Macrowise is spending his money well. I mean he built a lot of production buildings because it's going to be like a tree based push. So I made him lift again, burrow another link and he has to scan once more. My army is not in the perfect position, my drop overlords are going to his main. Also just checking a little bit what's at his front, seeing a lot of widow mines. I have my ultralists on the way, I also built a spire as soon as my hive was finished. Just kind of getting all the tech that I could need. Now I'm using the queens to kill the medivacs, I fungled them one last time and both medivacs are dead. He still, like at the 9 minute mark, this guy doesn't have a third. Keep in mind, he's a GM player, like 5.9k MMR, so it's not like we're playing against absolute scrubs here. Killing stuff with drops. Sorry. So now I'm moving in. I sent my units up here and I noticed that he didn't have anything to scan. And I f thought, well, he's probably not going to burn too many scans. So what I'm doing here is I'm moving in with my infestors. I see his clumped up min uh, marines. I fungle them immediately. Then I notice the widow mines. I'm sending infested terrans on those. And all these widow mines killed my um, infested terrans while I'm ravaging him, him over here. Ultralists are sadly going to die. I don't know, stuff happens. He has to lift this space again. What happens if he lifts it? Exactly, we borrow two links again. So he has to scan once more. So he's wasting a lot of scans to just like... He, how many times did he scan? Three or four times already for that base? I don't know. He scanned a whole bunch. So I'm going to speed things up a bit again. He has a lot of Widow Mines, but I don't really care too much about those. Just I made that one ac accidental swarm host. Built some Corruptors to deal with... Liberators and I can make them uh, into Lords eventually and I can also use them to kind of kill the already damaged Medivex. So I'm sending two locusts in because I don't know, built this foremost, might as well use it. And well I mean it wasn't that bad, right? Scouring about, sending another link drop into his main base to try and do damage, killing um, his attacks. Also took this base once I felt safe. I have my three uh, for plus three carapace almost done. Yeah, I mean, I'm checking now with my overseer. I noticed um, what his army looks like. Once again, no missile turret here. So I immediately went in, fungled up a whole bunch. I would have liked to land another good fungal here, it was kind of hard. I'm moving my infestors at the front now, there there goes the fungal. And yeah, I'm now up 50 supply. Keep in mind there was also the drop in the main, I'm not sure how much damage it did, but it I always do a little bit and also distract the turn quite a bit. I'm killing the turret, once the turret is done, burrow another link. So what does he have to do? Well he has to scan once again. And enough creep spread all the way to his third base. I don't really spread too much creep anymore. And our turn opponent is mostly dead. He's pushing out one last time. Fungle the widow mines. And the turn is dead. You play so stupidly. But it works. Yeah. So that was a two base infester into hive opener. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll have another replay ready for you guys tomorrow if you want to see more of this. Um, once again, thank you all for watching. See you guys soon. Bye.